I'm gazing at a whole new world, a place people and culture I know nothing about, with a history that's so enormous it defies comprehension. I'm from Los Angeles and worked in the media industry, where commercials are the lifeblood of commerce. Images and words are sculpted to sell, and the whole world revolves around the next big thing. I'm here to learn about what is real. And these are my last looks. This is Sinop, the most northern city in the country of Turkey. Nasılsın, iyi misin? Hı? Nasılsın? Very good, very good. Oh, okay. Oh, very good. Okay. okay. Oh. Yeah, you're you're my main man. You're my main taxi man. <gülüyor> and gezi Sinop tour. Yes, yes, the Sinop tour. Tour. I've got the best tour from you ever. Uh, best we... Sinop tour ever. Tamam. Very good. Very, very, yes, yes. Hamam. Uh, the Turkish bath. And Turkish hamam? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Too scary. Too scary. <laughs> no Turkish baths. Thanks. No Turkish wrestling. Okay. Okay. Ne zaman taksi tutacağım ve Washington'a gideceğiz? Yes, Washington State. Yes, my old home. Tacoma, Washington. Yes. Thank you. Also, thank you. Thank you. To check your large. To check your large. Okay, bye bye. We would like to get the Turkish breakfast uh, for two, and uh, we'll have two the two cappuccinos also. In Turkey, you don't walk across the street. You run across the street because those cars aren't stopping. They're coming all the time. The generosity of the people here is legendary. As soon as I enter a barber shop, I'm asked if I want tea or coffee. This is old school, making sure your customer gets the best treatment. Well, it's old school in the USA, but this is a way of life here in Turkey, and it has been for centuries. What surprised me the first time I had a Turkish haircut was the flame cut. He takes his lighter and goes around your whole face and burns off all the small hair, and it leaves your cheeks, ears, and nose clean and smooth. I swear to God, I'm not joking. You look 25. <laughs> You know what we say when somebody says that? Yeah, you're really good looking. No, I mean it this time. <laughs> I'm not even sure what you call this. It's sort of a cream that he rubs on your face and hair and then washes your hair again. Whatever it is, I like it. Then with a couple good arm, back, and neck rubs, you're done and on your way. By the way, those of you keeping track, this haircut costs 50 lira, or about three U.S. dollars. Good, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. My man, my man. <laughs> This 
is Manta, and this is Sinope Manta. Sinope Manta comes in this style of shell. It's like a little ravioli with a piece of meat in the pasta, and it comes two ways. This is garlic yogurt Manta, and this is walnut Manta. Now, it's unique to Sinope, although another city serves this same thing, but they do it without the sauce and without the walnuts. Personally, I think this is one of the most delicious meals in Sonoma. Um, I've had it for a long time at home in Los Angeles. My wife would cook it for me, and it is one of my favorite dishes in Sonoma. Yes. Mm. And as they say in Turkey, afiyets olsun. You know, when you see this and you see the enormity of this fleet from, from tiny boats to these huge behemoths over here that are out catching tons of fish at a time, you're just moved by the amount of commerce that goes on here. These fish that they're bringing in from each one of these boats, they go to Istanbul, they go to Ankara, they go to the Mediterranean, they go to Samson, Trabzon, and any number of smaller markets that are in Turkey. Even in Sinop, they just keep a small percentage of the fish, but this feeds Turkey. Chai. Turkey runs on chai. Tea, as we pronounce in America. But it is the binding force, the dark matter of Turkey. It brings everything together. If you're going over to visit somebody, you have chai. If you're doing a business deal, you have chai. If you're just walking around in the afternoon, you have chai. It is the lifeblood and runs through the veins of every Turkish individual in the world. It's so difficult for an American to talk about the history of Turkey. In the United States, we start at 1492, when the Americas were first discovered by the Europeans. Now let's check out Fortress Sinope and see what's inside. Come on, come with me. Here, you have to go back to the 8th century BC. And it goes much further than that. There's new archeological digs that suggest Turkey was one of the places that started planting food for agriculture nearly 9,000 years ago. Most scholars have dated the earliest Greek colonization of Sinop to the 8th century BC. You know, it's amazing because walking through this castle, this Sinop fortress here, you actually see where there's Latin, where the Greeks put a sign up. It's amazing, but you can still see this from the 7th century BC. Sinope Fortress was built by the Greeks. Sinope was strategically located along the trade routes that had been developed in the southern Black Sea. The Romans 
conquered Sinope in 70 BC. Julius Caesar established a colony here. He made improvements in the Sinope fortress as well as placing stone barriers in the bay to keep unwanted ships from mooring. Those barriers still exist today. Sinope's air is so fresh. It carries a breeze from the Black Sea and it seems to find you anywhere you are. These passages were created tens of thousands of years ago during the last ice age. As the ice receded, they carved channels into the rock, leaving saltwater passages deep into the forest. The person who's keeping my head straight on this magnificent journey is Saigon Yogur. He's a 30-year-old filmmaker originally from this province of Sinope. He's been honing his storytelling skills in Istanbul for the last 10 years. He's someone who has grown up in Turkey's past and now is boldly blazing a path into its future. He's my good friend and my Rosetta Stone. To Turkish culture. It's good weather outside. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful and warm, finally. So yeah. where are we headed now? To most northern Turkey. Most northern Turkey? Yes. The most, most northern point in oh. the country of Turkey? Yes, there we go. Oh, okay, very good. We call this place Injeburum. Injeburum. Which means Inje, thin. Tiny narrow nose. Nose, yes, which goes towards to the north. Straight to the north. Straight to the north. And so. that is the most northern point in Turkey. And Sinope is by de facto the most northern city in this uh, country of Turkey. Yes, it is one of the important points of your last looks, I'm telling you. Oh, very good. Good for last looks. I like that. Last. It can be one of your last looks. Yeah, I it hope should not. be. I <laughs> hope not. <laughs> Maybe that's true. Because of my driver's skills. I'd like and to I'm see. Turkish. Yeah, well, that that's going against you right there. Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see it again a couple times. Yeah, hopefully. that's awesome. I'm looking forward to it. I'm standing here on the most northern point in Turkey, and then starts the Black Sea. And the countries that surround the Black Sea are Georgia, just to my left, and then Russia off my shoulder, directly behind me is Ukraine, then Moldova, Romania, and Bulgaria. An amazing group of countries that all trade with Turkey. I hope you'll join us for further explorations of Turkey. We're going to visit everywhere and we're going to talk to everyone from large towns to small. Please join us on this journey. These are our last looks.